Hello everybody, Chris again. Uh, today I'm at an undisclosed location, so I can't give away the location. My um, company I work for, we're doing some work here. Um, it's an old nature reserve, but before that, it was an ammunition storage area for high explosive naval shells. So it's a big, massive, sort of like storage area. So we've been clearing away all the foliage and all that, and we've found some really great stuff. You're going to love this, it's going to be one of the best ones. So I won't get the gate in. So we're surrounded with a blast wall. There's all old trees and stuff. And this is the path that's been dug up. It's like a shingle solid path. Around there goes all the way around the back as well. It's in a big circle called a tump. So here we've got the, our environmental services team. They're doing all the work to clear this, ready to make it back into a nature reserve. But obviously we're keeping sort of like the as much nature as possible as we can. So this will be a research area for children to come and learn about animals. Morning boys, how you doing mate? Morning. Good, good. Got the old chainsaw here, so I'll clear a few trees. So this was the actual entrance way into the area. So you've still got the old railings here. Um, if you do know this place, please don't say it on the comments because it's got to be protected, this area. I don't want no one in here messing it up. And as you go through here, there's a blast wall here. And I know for a fact, back in 2006 when I was last here, there's a number on the corner of this. I'm not going to say the number. But they've unearthed the foundations of the building. So you've got all the cobbled area, all the way through. All the public stones, what we thought were lintels for an underground building, but it turns out might be not. These might be cranes. We thought they were tree pits, but why would they put tree pits in? I think this is where they put the girders for the building myself. One, two, three, and four. So there would have been a big building here, full of high explosives. Uh, Kevin's over there, he's clearing the pathway. There's some set steps going up through there. So I know they're there, because I came down in 2006. So he's clearing them stairs there. We thought there was an underground building here, we're not sure. But I'm getting a specialist to come in in the next couple of hours, see if he can shed any light. So I'm going to make Steve Peterson. And I'm not going to tell you where he's from, because this will give away the area. We've got a lot of burnt particles on these stones, like shrapnels and all that sort of thing. This is so exciting. I've say I've been last time I was in here is 2006 it's just all grass. So but this has all been dug up by the gardeners. So them what we're calling tree pits at the moment, these squares, we've got some stones that we're keeping and we're getting our maintenance guys to come in and reinstate this one over this side. So this one over this side, it's got some of these bricks missing. So we're going to get that reinstated. So as you can see, this is absolutely amazing. So this was a uh, sort of 1939, it would have been last used in 1945, World War II. And then it would have maybe have been used World War I. Not too sure, maybe, it could well have been. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you up this way, so that's the top of it. And say, so if you do know where this is, please don't put anything in the comments. I know there's a set of stairs here we've reinstated. So there's the old stairs. Going down, it's very, very, very you know, exciting find. I said, I knew this was here, I've known it's been here for years, but I never realised how much was left underneath the foliage. So there's the back gate, goes out to somewhere, which I'm not telling you, and there's the rest of the blast wall. I say, I'm going to probably link this on my Facebook page as well. But please, don't put a comment on where it is. 
because people will come and wreck it. So down here there is some firing slots, like rifle firing slots. So if this place was to get attacked, then they could defend. So you've got a slot just there. This one you can see a little bit better. Got a firing slot there. And this path goes all the way around the outside. So the area was concaved. Like a bowl shape. So if anything, any mishaps, any explosions in this area of the building, the blast would be pushed up into the air and it would stop any of the other surrounding areas or buildings or whatever they may be from getting damaged as well and you've got water around the outside and that stops any nastiness getting into the uh, soils and all that sort of thing as you can see it is a nice little nature reserve we're cutting the path out a little bit this is going to be skinnier than this we've just cut it out so we can get some tree bark laid down in here so we can get some lorries in and then naturally over time the piles will get a little bit skinnier and we we'll just trim them back nice yeah this is uh, absolutely amazing so we come around in a big circle Here, put some more railings there, up onto the top. So, hopefully, we'll find out a bit more later. Yeah, right, okay. Right. Right. We've got a little path going up through here as well. Yeah, so, this is going to take all the roots out of there. How you yeah. doing, Pat? You alright? Yeah, not too bad. You know, Chris? Good, mate. Nice one. Nice one. You see, there's your bowl shape. All the trees are going to be around. Yeah, we'll just give it a little good bit of clearing. And then obviously nature will take its course and bring stuff back again. And How are you getting on with the stairs, Kev? They're good? So they're wood funny, don't they? That one's just stone, stone, stone. Yeah. So these are the original stairs going up last season, back 2006. So Kevin just clearing them all out. Nice one, maybe. and walk you back through again. This is brilliant. So we're going to reuse all these stones. Nothing's going to go to waste. A wonderful, wonderful place. Nice bit of history. wall behind here whether it used to be the same as that I'm not sure but we will find out shortly when the old specialist gets here and this is going to be a woodland path so I'm going to spread some nice bark up up this and all the way around this is not going to be scraped out because it's all this sort of stuff but we want some nature in there so this is just marking out the path where people will go Right, so I'm going to end this video here. Exciting times, really is exciting times. Uh, Ian and Chris, IKS, <laughs> Golden Gem, mate. So next time you're about, give me a shout. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm up to 227 subscribers now, so yeah, not a millionaire yet, but I don't really want to be. 
but yeah um, any more updates to this place I may do a video or two in the future so thanks for watching everyone see you all soon stay safe bye now